Alrighty guys, this is Nugs on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. If you had played over 10,000 battles, Wargaming, uh, about a month ago, gave out this tank absolutely free. So, naturally, I was able to get one. Hopefully, you did too, but if you didn't, do you want to get this tank in your garage? And if you've got it, is it worth even playing? And the answer to that is quite simply, yes! This is a nice little tank. So let me give you a quick review of it, and then we'll jump into, I think, three or four games that I've got for you. I think you'll enjoy them. Nothing amazing, but solid. So overall, this is a very good tank. Yes, thank you, Wargaming. Not a sucky tank at all. Why? Well, the gun is very good. Yeah, uh, it hits pretty hard. It shoots what you want to shoot. You can pen most tanks without too much trouble except if you're dealing with tier 8 heavies. What else has it got? Well, armor. Good, actually. Better than it should be for a tank such as this. Lastly, maneuverability. Great. It feels really nice. So, what's the fun factor? I'm going to say 4 out of 5. And this is definitely a tank I would say you want to pick up. What is my load on this tank? Well, I've gone with this. I don't know, might move around to V-Stab later on, but it's working for me, so I'm just going to stick with that. And one last thing before we jump right in, consider subscribing, guys. It really does help out the channel. Anyway, look at the lineups. Well, they have an Amex 1357, rammable potential, so I'd love to find that guy. E10, not the tank I want to deal with, and the FV201, which is probably their best tank. We have a Tiger 1, that's probably our best tank. Hmm. I would say the teams are pretty even. Let's see what happens. Okay, off I go, and the Panther is with me. Great. I'd love to see that. I've also got some other support coming from the rear, so I'm just going to head over here. Look at how quickly this tank accelerates. It's nice. Okay, nice shot in there. And uh, the Panther is not in the best position there, if you ask me. Okay. And I really want to push in against this guy, but looks like the Panther's going to beat me to it. And already we've taken out a tank. That's great news. Okay, this guy's going to take a hit, but, wow. Okay, wow, two of them there. But as you can see, the armor does work on this tank. It shouldn't, but it does. It has no right being this good, if you ask me. So it looks like they've got them trapped there. I'm just going to zoom over here and surround them from the rear. Yep, here we go. Boom. That's going to force this guy to turn around. And I put him on fire. Always good. They don't really have any tank destroyers per se, so I'm just going to pop right in, finish this guy off, move over. Oh my goodness me. What an absolute slaughter. 7v3 in a minute and 15 seconds. Wow. They just got decimated. So, yeah, everyone did everything right here. My goodness me. Whew. Yeah, um, great work team. Don't have to do much, but as you can see, I was able to dish out a decent amount of damage. And I think everyone's done their job. Look at this tank go. Boom, 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 boom. Lovely stuff. This guy i got to be careful of, so I'm just going to shoot him. And he's not even going to look at me. That's nice. Okay, so free damage here. Thank you very much. Da, 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 and you're gone. Okay, last tank. Don't care if I... Oh, sorry, it's all over. Well, that was easy. Jeez Louise. Considering the first 30 seconds of the game, people were just moving into position, that was a pretty much 45-second onslaught. Surprisingly, they did more damage than I thought they would. Anyway, moving on to our next game on Canyon. Looking at the lineups. A10 again. Okay, we have an E10. They have an IS-2. Can't be deadly. We have a challenger, not the best tank. We have a smasher. Okay, that's a little bit unfair. Okay, dog, and two KV2s. Wow, we are derp heavy. My goodness me, if you include the E10 in there as well, that's like four derp guns pretty much. So yeah, I think we've got the advantage here. Let's just hope the smasher knows what he's doing, because a good smasher rips through teams. A bad smasher just lets everyone die. I'm going to spot for him, or spot for pretty much everybody. Let's see, here I go. There's one guy, two guys. Couldn't quite pen him, that's unfortunate. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be patient here. 
This guy's doing a good job. The Explorer is basically a Cromwell. He's doing his spotting. And I don't really want to get in his way. Ooh, he took a nasty hit there. But it looks like our team is not really supporting us. They're all heading over to C-Cap, I think. So I just don't want to get pushed on over B-Cap uh, now that the <laughs> Explorer is down to a one-shot. So screw it. I'm going in. Uh, let's hope that these tanks take the attention away from me and I can work my magic. So far, so good. But, ooh, guys, come on. Come on, push on in there. Oh, he's running. And I'm going to shoot to that. That's not great. Nice graphics, though. Got to give it that. And uh, now I'm just going to use my team's hit point pool to my advantage. I'm going to watch these guys fire. And when I see an opportunity, I'm going to push on in. Wouldn't normally do this, but I had no faith in the, was it the Explorer? Um, bounce that, unfortunately. But I did damage track. And it looks like I can get another shot in before he reloads. Not a great shot, but okay. A little bit of damage. Got the Smasher here. He's obviously going to focus the Smasher, not me. Don't think he wants to shoot me. He does. Well, that's his mistake. And now I'm just going to get behind this guy, and I'm going to go to town. I don't care if I take any hits. I just don't want to ram him, because I will take a massive hit there. So, yeah, you go hit somebody else. Yeah. Okay, well, this guy actually went for me. I'm like the least dangerous threat tank-wise, I guess. So I would have just left me alone. And uh, instead you get derped to high heaven, so sayonara, I guess I can say. And popping back, I'll take a hit, who cares, there you go. Easy, and now these guys want me. They want me, but you're going to have to go through my team. Yep, you don't want that, do you? So I'm just going to back on up here. And this guy's coming around from the rear, you can see it. Here he comes, here he comes, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He wants me, he wants me, he wants me. Yeah, come on out, come on out. I know you're coming, I know you're coming. There you are, and boom, you're gone. He really should have let his camo reset before he came around. He might have been able to get a few sneaky shots, but that was telegraphed a mile away, so... Yeah. Okay, I do not see them winning this. This guy has a lot of hit points, but they're not going to last. And is he going to shoot me? It looks like he did try to. Uh, okay, bud. Uh, well, say goodnight to your health, because you, our team is going to rip you apart now. Yep, you're gone. Wow. Normally, I would not play around C-Cap. Not in a tank such as this, but... What I did is I figured our team had all these derp guns. The Explorer was dead in seconds, so I wanted to use the fear of their guns and my speed to cause trouble. If I took the hits, then our derp guns can come in and absolutely wreck them. But if they go after the derp guns, which is probably the better advice, I'm able to pick them apart slowly with my, well, thousand cut strategy. Amazingly, as you can see here, our explorer has managed to stay alive the whole game. He lost all his health pretty much in the first minute, and he's still running around causing trouble for the enemy team and participating. So good for him. Much respect. Another nice easy game. I wanted to share it with you just because I think this illustrated how flexible this tank is. He can get around, moving here and there around the map, and doing all sorts of things. Smasher, good job. E10, good job. KV2, good job. Explorer as well. So yeah, this tank feels good. If you like medium or agile tanks, this one is definitely one you want to take out and for a spin or two. They have a Tiger P and a Cromwell B. KV-2 is also a tank I'm going to be careful of. The uh, T-34 is a good tank. Uh, it's not the best. So yeah, we've got an SP-1C. As long as he doesn't charge to his death, that will be to our advantage. We also have a Gravedigger with his six shells can be a real pain sometimes. Give us the edge. Let's see what happens. Okay. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum. Look at that. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I mean, I'm all over the map in, what, 10 seconds. Great. And I'm into position in less than 25 seconds. Fabulous stuff. Okay. As you can see, our team is coming with a little bit. And here we go. We've got one guy over there. Uh, been lit up. I could have gone there to spot, but I prefer to go over there and uh, be a little bit wild and crazy. This is the position a lot of pros take because you're protected with this like flower pot thingy. And that's nice. So there you go. One easy shot. And someone's coming around. And can we whack him? Well, well, not sure where that shell went, but he's not looking at me. So 
I should be able to absolutely rip him apart. And there he is, gone. Good work, SB1C. This guy's coming for me. This guy's not the best tank. Absolutely not a tank you want to play if you're a new player at WZ. 131, is it? Unfortunately, they're both focusing me, so I have to make a decision. Who am I going to go after? I think I'm going to go after this annoying guy. Ugh. So I've taken a little bit more damage than I would have liked, really. But, yeah. Thankfully, the WZ has not pushed in. So I'm able to just sit back here and be patient. I've lost half my health, but not worried just yet. Nice shot in there. There we go. Can I whack this guy? Wow, ricochet. That's unfortunate. And I take another hit. Okay, Doki. Come on, guys. Can you help me out? So we know by looking at the mini-map, by the way, that pretty much their entire team is probably on this side of the map. That's why I'm not pushing out too far. Because I fully expect a tank to... Ah, there we go. Okay, Doki. Now we know where the rest of the team is. Uh, I think it's time... Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. SP1C has got those two shells. I'm not sure he's shooting the right target. Uh, I'm going to try and stop them from pushing in here. Oh, it's a TOG. Okay, so... Not a common position for a TOG. So much respect to him. He's causing all sorts of trouble for us. SP1C... Yeah, he fired those two shots in on the TOG, and that was his mistake. I'm going to push on down. This was my mistake. I, I mean, I... Move too late to really protect our SP1C, but hopefully I can take care of this guy. There we go, boom, he's gone. And now I'm just going to keep on going. I know the Tog is somewhere up there on the hill. I'm just going to ignore him for a second. Yeah, he's a slow beast, and to turn around would be a bit of a pain for him, so I'm just going to stay low. It looks like he's dealing with somebody else right now, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry just yet. I want to push out, just don't want to take a hit from the freaking tiger. Can I get rid of this tog? You know, I'm gonna head back over here. I thought it's better not to get caught in a dangerous situation because I know there are two other tanks somewhere around there. I'm just gonna use some cover here and uh, let's see what I can do. Now, those guys have got plenty of hit points, so hello, you two dingbats, can you move? We need your hit points. We need your armor. Uh, I don't mind doing most of the work, but could you move on up? Yeah, if he's gone. <sighs> okay, so I've gone back to my little position over here where I'm pretty well protected. I'd love to find that Tog. Uh, I have a little discussion with these teammates over here, just sitting back, pretty much doing nothing. Okay, I've been lit up, so don't want to push on out because the gun's probably facing me. So I'm going to wait. Let my camel reset. Okay, and... Okay, good work, Hellcat. You guys, come on. Push on in. You've got all those hit points. Okay. I took another hit, but I'm able to take out the Tog. Okay, guys, come on. What are you doing back there? Kidoki, there's the tiger, and that's the strongest tank. So it's going to take us a little while to get rid of him. But it looks like the Hellcat has finally made his move. And yeah, he's in all sorts of trouble now. Not even look at me. I shoot dirt. Now that's great news. But my second shot will be able to take him out. And there's the tank I was worried about the freaking tank destroyer. So if you guys had lit him up sooner, sure would have been helpful. And you got plenty of hit points, so I'm not sure what you're doing there, bud. Come on. Okay, you guys have got tons of hit points. I'm just going to sit here. You guys do it. You don't need me. Oh, now he's down to a one shot. Can I take him out? No, nope. he's behind the wall there. I mean, not wall. He's behind the mountain range there, so yeah. Anyway, um, not a bad little game, but um, not the best either, but again... The flexibility, getting from one position to another, very easy in this tank. So if you're looking for a fun tank in Tier 7, I think this is definitely the one for you. Blasteroid, come on, use your hit points to soak up some shells instead of hiding like a coward. Goodness me, their TOG, much respect to you even though you lost, but good for you. That's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed today's games. I'll see you tomorrow. 
snug some blitz.